Namaskaram. Today we are all here to celebrate the life of a grand young lady. What beautiful words. So true. Dr. Mrs. YGP, my wonderful dearest aunt, she was grand, she thought everything in a grand way, she didn't mean little things like, you know, she just took them for granted, but she wanted everything in a very grand way, in a grand style. And young, of course, she was very young at heart. She never felt her age any time. And not that she liked anybody to ask or point out her age. I remember at one function when the speaker was saying, and she was sitting, she says, despite her age and ill health, she immediately raised her hand and said, Who said that? Ill health and a, what do you mean? That poor man bolted for his life. So she was so young, that spirit of hers, amazing, fantastic. I mean, there could be plenty of words to describe the way she was, the way how... She was so generous at the same time, kind, and yet at the same time, she was very disciplined and she was very stern when she wanted to be. Well, she had so many achievements, so many awards, and what an educationist. She was outstanding. But at the personal level, I would also like to say and share with you how Pachana and Rajama, they have been of great support and help and how they have stood by me when I was going through a life of turbulence. It was sad, but then they were there. All the time, Papa, Kapala Padadama, Mangarukon, Mangarukon, Mangarukon. And the Sakti, Kurthundai Rindayanak. They were a great source of strength to me and to my young son who was studying in Shishya. But then, well, when things unfortunately happened in my life, when I lost my husband, and this child was just going in, into himself. He was not coming out, he was not speaking, he was, and he was not reacting, nothing. So Rajama told me, I was a member of parliament at that time. So Rajama told me, this is the best time to take him out of Chennai. Don't keep him in Chennai. Because this environment, surroundings and all that, you know, will, will not be good for him. So since you are in parliament, Delhi, you can easily put him in Delhi. So she was the one who gave me the idea. Because I, my education was all, went into dance. And I never went to college. I only did my matriculation and that was the end. Then everything went into dance. So for every, each and every advice, suggestion, and to ask what should I do with my son, what about his education, how do I do? I would always go and ask Rajama, tell me Ma, Yana Pandradipo, the Pulla, or he's gone into his shelf, into his home. And He's not reacting in Bombay cash and form, and a daily cash and form, it will do a world of good. And it was like the goddess speaking to me. It happened. I took him to Delhi and I put him there with great in the Hindu and uh, college, and then gradually, gradually he changed. He opened up. He became a better person. 
and he is not the same suchi what you see today but the first 3 years after he lost his father life was really terrible but anyway the source of my the the help and the backing and the support that i got from pachana and rajama i can never forget as long as i live and this is my greatest tribute to them that she was a very fine lady even about 2 months ago i had lunch with her and she said inge saapte pomma ni illa saapadama pokudadu abrin sari saapadama abrin appo she was in the so she would she would always eat in her room but then she came to up to the table to the dining and she sat and you know what she told me papa ever since you have come i have dropped 10 years of my age wasn't that the sweetest thing ever that was the last thing i heard from her and that will always be dinning in my ears and rajma will ever be in my heart rajma and pachana because i am so whenever i told her that i'm always i'll be indebted to you all my life she said don't say that what do you mean this that is all god's kindness and he does what he 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 does god does everything so you don't have to really thank me or be indebted to me and uh, everything happens for the best and uh, now you dance keep dancing which is your passion and that will help you a lot and probably her words have been true i'm still dancing and she said <laughs> although my son says now he is quite a <laughs> you know slogan 8 to 8 if i stop it amma when 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 do you think you will ever going to stop enough no you have danced enough all your age now keep because he is he is he cares you know he loves me and he cares for me and uh, he feels that i should get hurt or i should you know nothing should happen to me so i said listen i am a dancer won't i know won't i be my own best judge to know how far to go how much i can you know stand to it anyway he says but then as children grow up you have to naturally you know listen to them and he is a loving son so in fact rajma said why aren't you giving date for bartha sir last uh, last year i didn't uh, i wasn't here in india i was away in the us and whole of marwari i missed the first time in my life i've never missed the marwari month and i've never missed but still my tirpa way there every day i continue to say my say my uh, verses that never stopped and uh, then by the time i came back i couldn't perform i couldn't participate in, in any of the festivals here but i missed my bharat kala char which is my favorite and uh, so when i met uh, rajma two months ago she said when well, no, you have not given the date raj uh, she had been asking me but that time mahen and uh, i think you had gone to stay so you are not here so i said uh, when mahen comes only i can talk to mahen and sudha then i'll we'll fix up the date and something so this time uh, we have fixed the date but my son on he's put a condition no dance you can do lecture demonstration you can do workshop you can do this you can do that you can and you can sing also never mind because that is sitting you know you're not standing and dancing doing any steps so i have managed to <laughs> accept five programs in december Yeah. Of course, starting with with Bharat Kala Char and with Amma's blessings and Pachana's blessings and all your love and affection of my admirers and friends, I'm sure everything will happen for the best. Things happen for the best, and they will be the best. And our relation. Thank you. Actually, in our advisory council meeting.